His ambition was just to compete here in London 2012 at the Paralympic Games in London. Well, he's done much better than that. He is the champion. As we look forward to the women's 100 metres freestyle S11, there's a start list. The eight fastest women line up. Cecilia Camellini of Italy, the world record holder, 68-56. While well, she goes in lane three. Didn't look to be that easy this morning, posting 111.54. But here come the competitors, lane number one for Sweden with 116.20 to qualify. Is Richard. Major Richard there, walking out to her block. Mary Fisher goes in lane number two for New Zealand. 112.01 this morning. A tight, shiny, streamlined swimming cap there, perfectly fixed in an aerodynamic way to help her cut through the water. Cecilia Camellini from Italy, the world record holder, goes in three. A wonderful personality she has. Lee for China there, going in lane four, 69.38. She is the fastest qualifier. And if anybody's going to smash the world record tonight, I think it could go to that lady, Lee, in four. Here comes Thomas, Amber Thomas from Canada in five, 111.15. Daniela Schulter in six for Germany. 111.60 to qualify, a popular figure she is. A great face of her nation. In lane number seven, G goes for China with 114.01. Queen Z there. Taking her tracksuits off before she takes to the blocks and here to complete the lineup for Japan. Naomi Ikinga goes in eight, 116.49 this morning. Ikinaga, Naomi Ikinaga made the final company by some two seconds. But the swimmer in the name of Lee in lane four, the only woman to swim sub 10 right there. 109.38, almost two seconds faster than her nearest rival. Amber Thomas in five. What can Cecilia Camellini do? The world record holder in three. Away well, Camellini in three. The Paralympic record holder, Queen Xi, goes in seven. Remember, she is the Paralympic record holder, the defending champion from Beijing in 2008 with 68 96. So let's not rule her out. Camellini looking good. Lee leading the way, but Camellini, Camellini now. A good turn for Camellini, 31-23. That was a very good five metres into the turn for Camellini. Camellini streaking away. Fisher going well. Fisher one lane up in lane number two. And Lee's in third, but Cecilia Camellini has gone up a whole bunch of gears for this final. Crashing into the lane rope there. And it sent her off. She's not quite sure the direction now. And crashing into the lane rope on the opposite side of the pool. That's cost some valuable ground, which is clear enough of the rest of the field. Still in second place is Liam Fisher's holding on to bronze and gold. 1-0-7-29 for Cecilia Camellini. Where did she pull that from? She was so breathless after this morning heat. Took a good minute or more for her heart rate to come down. 
She was panting away on the pads and she is again, but swimming five seconds faster. Tonight, she is the champion. The world record holder becomes the gold medalist here in London 2012. And there's the closing stages, the tapper across the shoulders of Camelini. Touching nicely with that right arm. Support for that finish allowed by her coach. One full stroke cycle away from the wall. And she knows then to finish the race on that final touch. But she had a difficult time, some 20 metres away from the finish, crashing to the left-hand side of her lane, hitting the rope, which would have hurt. And was too deliberate with her move away, because stormed to the other side of the lane and hitting the other lane rope. But clear enough of the field to take gold with that splendid world record. A massive world record for Cecilia Camelini.